Hello, I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington, and I'm an occupational therapist. Welcome to Axe OT. Today we'll be discussing bilateral integration, also known as bilateral coordination. Now, the technical or the medical definition of this is that bilateral coordination or integration is the ability to be able to use both sides of the body simultaneously for different functions. Moreover, the ability to use the two sides of the body together in a coordinated manner. It also includes the ability to cross the middle of your body. Anytime a signal is sent from one side of the brain to the other side, bilateral integration is taking place. Now, let's simplify this and break it down. We have both a left and a right side of our bodies. To do certain tasks, we need to use both sides, i.e. both hands, to complete the task. For instance, let's look at tying our shoes. Though both hands are working together to make a bow, they are doing two different things in order to make this bow. One hand is holding, while the other hand is looping. Also, when tying your shoes, you are crossing the body's midline, and that's the imaginary line that divides our body into equal halves, the left and right sides, now, which is necessary to perform tasks that require bilateral integration. Now, here's a good example. Timothy has had several complaints from his teachers because of his sloppy handwriting. The teacher complains that his, that his writing is never written on the lines of the paper. It is not that Timothy simply has poor handwriting, it's that he is not using bilateral integration to complete his writing assignments. When observed, we see that Timothy is left-handed and writes with his arm on the desk just as his other classmates do. What's different is that he does not use his right hand to brace or hold the paper while he's writing. Since the paper is not braced or held in place when he is writing, the paper moves around his desk. This is why he has such a hard time to place his writing on the lines. Now there's multiple symptoms that may indicate a problem with bilateral integration. Starting, one could be poor or sloppy handwriting, getting dressed or undressed at a slow pace, what appears to be clumsiness, or eyes don't move smoothly when tracking an object. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send emails or leave your comments here. And we'll be seeing you next time.